Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what is most obviously very crucially important. Today on This Is Important... Yeah, they all jizzed in a cookie and ate it. Yeah, you just gotta get out of the hole before you can't. Peace, we're going to Tom Hanks' house to do cocaine. Uh, I, I can't come unless somebody's brushing my cock with a pair of headphones on. Let's go! Oh, yeah. yeah. We're back! You know what I mean? Yeah, hey, another go- AM podcast. Yeah, go- oh, Guten Morgen. And we're back. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> I am uh, I'm shooting nights on the Righteous Gemstones, Ugh. and Kelvin has to sleep in. Adam's fine. Wake Adam could have gotten up even earlier, right. but Kelvin... Uh, the character needs his beauty rest. He's, he's oh, you're right. fully he's in. Fucked. You're fully DDL'd over there, huh? Is that what's going on? And what is that? What is that? You're fully mean? Daniel Day Lewis. You are in character all the time now. You're at that part of. Oh yeah, I, yeah. DDL. I didn't hear you. Yeah, DDL. Yeah. Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, Correct. totally. Yeah, method actor. <laughs> yes, I am. I should do the whole episode like Kelvin. Adam, can you actually go off for a second? Just hit mute and, and take your headphones off. Everyone at home, Adam goes deep into character okay. he doesn't even know the hey, transition right. is I happening don't, I haven't done it yet. when he turns into hang count on. oh he's listening he's listening just i'm on i can still hear you just oh hang on hang on i haven't well, clicked it cats okay, out of the bag okay, okay you're I'm an actor off. okay go ahead i'm off now okay so now he's off um i hate him yeah. um that was a cover i knew that he was going to take the time and do like the whole joke obviously he knows he's an actor nice but i hate yeah. him and he's definitely not listening right now I definitely know he's not listening, and I share the same with you. On and I'm back. Game. Oh, <laughs> hey, I'm back. Adam. Did we cover it? Hey. Yeah. So um, anyway. We're back. <laughs> I hope you didn't hear about the whole actor thing. Uh, yeah, I am an actor, so. Yeah, you are. You really are. Hey, how is it shooting nights? You want to talk? To, does everyone want to talk about shooting nights? Because oh, I don't know nights. if people at shooting home. nights. If, you, if you've ever shooting. worked nights or had that kind of schedule. It is fucking crazy. You're going to sleep when the sun comes up. You're getting up when the sun goes down. It's weird. Well, I feel like when you, uh, like if you, because my dad worked nights growing up, uh, like I would say 40% of the time. Right. And once you get- Well-known local prostitute. uh, (laughs) He's a street walker. (laughs) You should see some photos. Uh, Well-known. Just got them stamps. You see him down the block, butt cheeks (laughs) flapping. Uh, (laughs) So he works for the railroad (laughs) hooking and uh, yeah, he had nights all the time. And once you get in that rhythm, I feel it's better. Like once you're like a week in and you get in the rhythm, it's fine. But here we're just doing like the rhythm of the night. The last three days of the week, we fall into nights and then you're work, you're going to work. At today, I go in at like three. We have a scene, and then the shoot uh, the scene. We'll shoot that scene, then the sun will set, and then we'll do nights for the rest of the night. Yeah, that's and, the uh, craziest yeah. part about the the shooting nights, especially if you're slipping into it. Mondays you start work at seven a.m., and then Fridays you start work at three p.m. Right, that's the inside Hollywood that people want mm-hmm. from the podcast. They want baby. to know the inside how our sleep patterns. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's strange. Everybody that's listened to us in Philly, this is when I nine nine wants to know the street. The sleep patterns. This is when I wake, wake. One of the weirdest <laughs> nights I ever did uh, on a shoot was for this movie I did called Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Oh, yeah. Um, mm. yeah. Um, and basically, like, I got there around, I want to say, like, 9 o'clock. I shot, like, for a couple hours. My pre-scene before, I turn into a zombie. I'm just part of the very first um, scene of the movie. But so I I shot for like three hours. Then I went into the makeup chair for like three hours. And by the time I got out, you know, it's like the the sun's coming out and I'm in all this zombie makeup and I was falling asleep Mm -hmm. on the floor because I was so tired in this zombie makeup. (laughs) And like I had these huge contacts and it was just the most surreal experience. I I felt kind of like Daniel Day Lewis, like I was a zombie. You were were in it. Now that's great. Deep. Great. Yeah. Yeah, and and I feel like and are you, have you taken the makeup yet, or is that how you look? Well, I kind of look like a zombie now, don't I? Oh, and we've lost Adam. Adam's we gone. lost Adam. He's I guess gone. he did have to go. He yeah, was talking about that. He, he did mention that he was going to have to cut cut out early. We didn't realize it was um mm-hmm. well for 
minutes and 43 seconds into the pod. <laughs> right. <laughs> bye, and by bye. the way, this is why I hate him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, well, it has nothing goodbye. to do with him personally. It's just his no, internet no, no. connection that is just, it, yeah. it causes extreme rage. It's All the business. Chonk. It's the yeah. chonk. He be it's, the ch- it's the chonka. Another thing about like the shooting nights thing that a different version is when you're on set for a very long time shooting night stuff and you're like in a house that's built on a set oh. and like it's dark and they're like, okay, so climb in the bed and like they're lighting and everything. You get sleepy. You start to zonk. You're talking about like when you're, when you're shooting days, but you're shooting nights. Like, right, and then you yeah. go outside and you're like, oh, it's 1.30 in the afternoon. Hello! I thought it was fucking yep. one, one in the morning. It's like a Vegas casino scenario. You're in a yes. house. It's like you're playing a house party. It happens to be 9 a.m. in the morning, but you're playing it like it's 9 p.m. at night. Right. And it's like, what? You finally come out to go get a granola bar at the snack table, and you're like, uh, where the, the, the fuck am I? Right. Or like they would like drop those black cloths on the windows at the dude's house, like on workaholics, and you would just forget. Kyle, is that would that be duvetine or I don't know? <laughs> yes, good oh, job. Yes, shit. that is duvetine. Okay. That's right. <laughs> good job. This is my cousin duvetine. Duvetine is what? Well, how would you describe that? It's like this kind of like a metal sheet of paper sort of? uh it has no duvetine is a very soft cloth that has a soft side and a hard side huh. and it, oh, it never touched it, it absorbs I, so this is how you know uh when blake would get on set workers would have to move the duvetine for him to walk it's, through he wouldn't touch it it's cool I'm not touching it. i immediately followed up kind of something smart where i recalled something with a yeah. total stupid answer well what am i thinking where it's like that metal paper you put, yeah, put like, around lights that's like right. tin foil painted black that right. has to be able to stand the heat. Ah, yes. And that's yes, to and shape the light. If you want to get into I, grip class, I mean, I'm ready dude, to rock. Uh, you, should we just go buy some black tin foil? That shit's cool. Hell yeah. Oh, Cook with it. Wrap, I might wrap my wagon in that. You got to just work. murder it out. That could be kind of cool. Like the yes. matte look. I'm down for that. Reynolds wrap. Right. And just drive and see if it stays on. That's can't just there has to be a name for that i feel like with like on set like the even the smallest inventions are like patent like remember like the whole thing about so when you're getting mic'd for yeah. uh uh anything you're getting your mic you're getting your uh you know it taped to your chest or whatever they have to put the drop the wire down like your pants or your shirt or whatever there's literally this little metal thing that they like like a weight yeah, yeah they, they call they, that the bullet the bullet, right. that's like the a, trademark. Right, right. It, it could be anything. And it's shaped like a bullet, so it slides down your pant leg easily because fashion, in the last 10 years, pants have gotten a lot tighter. Uh, so somebody invented it to kind of snake <laughs> down your pant leg easier. Well, and, and they before that... It. But that's the whole side hustle of being on a set. And before that, there was people, sound guys were reaching up in to grab the end, so it was yeah, a little intrusive. God. Can yeah. y'all Here, imagine that? Oh, how about sorry, this? How about this? Mic. Hold up. I'm not going to say what production this was on. <laughs> okay, okay, good. We Just had a sound guy, and I, it wasn't that, <laughs> okay, but I, okay. it was... It, I, I confirmed it with somebody. We had a sound guy who twice a week would he would just brush he would be feeding the thing down your leg or like trying to get your mic all set and he would just brush your dick with what? like the back of his hand did this dude just so did like, this oh hi <laughs> 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 right he, so it would happen probably twice a week in a way that you're like there's no way this dude doesn't know that that just happened Is the- right and i brought it up to another guy on set i'm like yo have you ever and he was like it's crazy. And I was like, do we say something? And then he was like, well, I don't know. Like, he'll get fired and shit. And I was like, all right. Yeah, like, this, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we just let this slide. <laughs> so like, you're saying he would he would touch your your genitalia with the back of the There would be brush. contact. It, it, there would just be con- There was be more contact. Brush. First of all, let me just say this. Yeah. These people are very careful about what they do, right? They're, they're working with your body. They know it, um, but it is part of their job to get in there and put microphones on you. Mm. And there was just this, this contact that you're like, come, yeah, come on. You, it was, how do you not know this is happening? It I was got a big to- fucking boner right now. <laughs> It was occurring too often for it to be a mistake. 
Yes. So is that now? Let's t- let's walk this down the path. Is that let's do it. is that something that this guy or a girl? We don't know who this person was. I'm not going to say. But there's a guy possibly <laughs> doing this on purpose, accident. Is that what you're thinking? I think it was. What did we say on workaholics? Accidentally on perpters. <laughs> yeah, accidentally on yeah. perpters. Right. It was definitely because I brought it up to the other homie. I'm like, I'm like, is this happening to you? And he goes, Dude, it's crazy. I've never, and he's like, it's it, it, for sure. And then we just, for like weeks, would talk about it like, yeah, it just happened. <laughs> wow. So get, then you And I was like, are we going to get him fired? But oh. we just did, we were like, oh man, like this, this little pervert, like <laughs> we're going to get him fired over this. <laughs> and, and like, maybe so, it is, maybe it is on purpose. Maybe it's not. He started so turning into, Adam, what do you think? So, <laughs> Adam? <laughs> Silence. So this he kind of turned into the, a little... This kind of turned into a little bit of like you kind of dug it because it was a bonding experience between you and your castmate. Mm, <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess I should write him a thank you note. Yeah, I think like if you're still friends with the castmate, you might want to, you know, uh, let the sound guy know that this or right. sound girl that this this was them. Was they good. did it. It was a guy. Hot, 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 okay, hot. It was weird. Like that. That's right. It was hot. It was hot. Are- I mean, it was just one of those moments where you're like, do I bring this up, get this guy fired, and save everyone else from a a cock brush, a two well, a week cock was, brush. What was weird, and I don't know what set this was, is that Adam knew it was happening, and Adam just stood by and 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 let this happen to you. So that's that's on him, right, Adam? Adam? Nope. Uh, no comments. Adam, not still, here. To not, this not day. Commenting. All right. He's shooting I'm nights. Anyway. We know he's shooting nights. <laughs> we know, <laughs> we he's, know shooting, he's shooting nights. <laughs> we know he's shooting nights, and he's in character. Huh. So that's these good. kind of things happen. But this is what happens, guys. We're doing it live. Uh-huh. Not live. Uh, it's not, not recorded no, to we tape. Can edit it. We'll have <laughs> Adam ADR his parts in later. Yeah. Fuck it. Anyways, the, 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 I guess the end of that whole thing is that uh, I, I can't come unless somebody's brushing my cock with a pair of headphones uh, yeah, on. I need the back of the hand action, and that's it. And I like it when they take the little bullet thing from the microphone and kind of just put right. it into my little... Into the hole of the... What? What's Adam? That? Adam. Oh, sorry, I thought Adam I thought, I, thought I saw Adam. I thought Adam might have came up on the Zoom real quick, but no. <laughs> Yo, but but that's the whole side hustle of of the industry, really. It's like if you're working in this business and you kind of see a like just something that like can do be done better. You're like, oh my God, I've got the million dollar idea. Cause that bullet dude, those bullets are not cheap and everyone uses them all the time. Every right? single set has right. a bullet. Yep, and we had a makeup dude who was always trying to invent like the new makeup bag because mm-hmm. like <laughs> cause you just want to make wheel. you want to make everybody's life easier. And if you can be the guy who comes up with the thing, like the fact that makeup artists on uh, shows all their bags are clear so they can see exactly where the shit that they need is, I'm like that's genius. Okay, Somebody did that? that, yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, Kyle, um, remember what? There was, Kyle. There, What's Kyle? Up, there was okay. some, wasn't there, I don't know whose invention it was, but they were trying to like invent like a new chair on set. Wasn't there? Yeah, like- yeah. That was, um, <laughs> what was that? Wait, do you remember? It was a chair. It was it, was it, uh, did it have to do with the Apple box or was it just, a, yes. it was right. It was like something that goes on the Apple box and then you just sit on that. I mean, that's a thing, but whoever made right. that. It was like a pad that goes on an, it was wheels that go on an Apple box. It like mobilized yeah. an Apple box and made it comfortable to sit on. And I think Apple so. boxes are uh, an just, Apple box is just right. like a one by one by three box made out of wood that you can use for multiple purposes on a film set. And again, this is why people turn in to this is important. This is important. <laughs> Thank Adam, you. are you back? So I'm, Adam, I just got back. Apple oh, hey, Adam. Uh, hey, okay. I'm stealing my neighbor's internet. The fucking internet at this house keeps going out, and mm-hmm. it's it's making me lose. It's money. the outer net. But uh, you guys You're are still chunking. talking about like it's still not good. You're chunking over here, we'll buddy. Do great. In order to, uh, I'd go onto the hotspot on the iPhone, partner. It doesn't work. I would try I the hotspot on your iPhone. You got that? Mm-hmm. I and do. Oh, Carl is a, he's a tech master. Okay. Have you ever hardlined it? And then we'll talk about your internet. Connection. The internet right. isn't working at all. The the internet. Oh well, now you're coming oh in. Gosh. You're coming in. I got you there. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's cool. You look great. Thanks, guys. Carry yeah. on. Have you been shooting nights? You look great for it. <laughs> yeah, you do. Have you, you been good. wearing Hims lotion on your face? <laughs> oh, you look great. A little Hims. A little. He maybe needs a little hems and haws. A little hem and a little haw and oh my! Hey, for everyone at home, Adam looks 
not happy right now. Yeah. He's just staring down. I can't tell if he's frozen or if he's just about to cry. Oh, there he is. I saw him blink. He's not pumped. And I've seen him pumped twice. This is not that. This is not that time. No. Still sad. Like, if this is the guy who I'm going to see in the Ozarks, (laughs) no. What do you think? Still, is, is he frozen or is he still sad? What I don't know. I can't tell. He looks like frozen in Saddam Cryvine. Yeah, he I might. I think not. he just got fired. I think Adam? He up. Oh, there. Oh, oh, wait, there oh my God. Somebody screenshot this. This is going to be really good video footage. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, can you oh. hear us? Oh, boy. <laughs> He's got nothing. Oh boy! All right. Well, Adam's oh. MIA. We got a frozen yeah. back. We we'll probably get pop ins from him throughout this pod. So um, Kyle, what's w- up? Do you want to talk about NorCal, man? Oh, what dude, is popping up in NorCal? What is popping man? off up there, dude? I know that there's like all sorts of bad shit happening in the Bay, but uh, what's the good shit? Well, the good shit is my kids and wife are at the um, uh, what is it? The Lindsay Museum of Science, Alexander mm. Lindsay Museum today, which is cool out in Berkeley. Uh, Ooh, I happen to yeah. love that town. I love Berkeley. I was pretty excited to go, but then the pod got rescheduled, and now we are <laughs> recording. So it's I'm science. missing that. But yeah, it so is sorry. It's science. Uh, I live right under Mount Diablo, which is uh, the Devil's Mountain, which uh, mm-hmm. makes me feel mm-hmm. safe. <laughs> so nice. That's right. You worship the devil. We forgot. Correct. Correct. Yes. Adam, do you worship anybody? No. Oh, Adam. Hey, hey. okay. All right. He's okay. In here. He's here. I mean, I'm hearing uh, like every in? like uh, sixth word. And every other word of sorts. I yeah, actually just yeah. made the drive uh, to the Bay Area last, what was it? When was oh, that? Oh, dude, that was the other day. And that was what's popping. And we, we actually said what was popping in the Bay. We had to do a tourist video for Concord, California, where we went wow. on a taco trail and ate heck of tacos and uh they were so fucking good i'm just yeah actually, you just said hecka and fucking in the same sentence that's tight <laughs> yeah right yeah it, if we could take one thing away the tacos in concord are hecka fucking good dude and those are going to be t-shirts hopefully yeah they're what bomb. kind what kind of tacos are we talking like carne asada they had well, carne. chicken what was the one that you guys had the buche did you have the buche as some buche ass tacos. I didn't even know what that was about, but basically it's like a taco that you 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 dip in like a like a spicy grease. It's um Ooh, I thought it was how's stomach. That sh- how's that shoot out the other end? <laughs> Wasn't it stomach? It's like that's the meat. Oh yeah, wait, yeah, you're right. That's that's pork stomach. What was the little tacos we had that you dipped in grease? It's really weird. Like for some reason well, I know why, but Concord has like really good tacos because like in Monument Boulevard there's been a pretty decent Hispanic population. So like there's just tons of like sick in the cut like taco spots. Like, mm-hmm. and we're like, oh, we're going to hit, there's like 39 spots on the list. We're like, we're going to try to hit them all. We got through five and then <laughs> yeah. Teddy ended up throwing up in a bush and it was like, yeah. okay, Teddy. Teddy, 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 Teddy was with us. Oh, Teddy. Friend, yeah, yeah. friend of the show. Eddie October. Hey guys, so I heard that conversation. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, nice. w- was it like a, a like a, a festival that was put on or you guys just had a list and you decided to make t-shirts and march up and down because I saw a photo I think and it's like <laughs> you guys are like I heart Concord tacos and you guys had uh, matching t-shirts which yeah. was cute and I liked that but yeah. I heard was radio. this put on um through the city of Concord Can- Concord's like yo we got to get our, our taco name out there well, yeah. yeah, so, like, uh, the big news in Concord is, like, over Corona, the, a visitor center opened. So oh, now wow. you can go oh, to good. Perfect, perfect, perfect timing. Dot Concord Cal- or Concord Visitor. Visit ConcordCA.com. That and it rolls off the tongue. And it rolls off the tongue, definitely. Adam's going there now. And so, the, you know. Yeah. Hey, visit, go to, <laughs> it's go to, visit, dot. <laughs> no, I think it's dot go to. <laughs> I think it's dot, Concord, dot, it's, it's dot, dot go, go to, to yeah. visit Concord, the city of Concord. CA. Tacos.net. Yeah, Concord, California. <laughs> Tom Hanks is from here. Dot com. Dot Tom. Well, the thing is, is that Tom Hanks is, you know, from Concord, but he won't come out and do a taco video. He, so. he won't. It, yeah, uh, he's too busy eating babies. <laughs> he won't. Uh, he's too oh, busy eating a drink. There's no delicious glands. babies up there. 
Yeah. They are. Uh, but Kyle and I, we're down. You're gonna land on a. Yeah, we show up. The grease you were dipping those into <laughs> does does was not baby grease. So adrenal grease ain't doing it. Yummy. Uh, <laughs> adrenal grease. And I've been to Concord. I've been to Concord a handful of times. Uh, does Tom Hanks admit to being from Concord? Is he out? Is he waving the flag? Because you guys are waving the flag loud and proud, and I appreciate and love mm -hmm. that about you guys. Thank but you. But Tommy Hanks, I haven't heard much. I haven't yeah. heard much. I, well, yeah, he's uh, maybe. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, if you, if you www.gotoconcordcavisit.com. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, not go to. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, I, hey. and that's why, and that's probably why Tom Hanks is steering clear. Is there? Right. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of jizz jokes. I thought Tom Hanks was from Oakland. I didn't think he was from Concord. The other, well, the other. Uh, Tom didn't Hanks. he go to your high school? Yeah, he, he went, went to, to your Concord high. school. High. No, he, he went did to go Concord to, High. We went to Clayton Valley. Oh, he did school. go to Concord High. I thought he was in Piedmont. I thought he was a Piedmont boy. Hey, so this is so Maybe. this is the issue, Kyle. You're from yeah. Concord. Important. You wear T-shirts say "I love Concord tacos." Yeah, you're a big Concord guy. Right. You don't yeah, know so. that the most famous person. Maybe in the world is Kyle mm -hmm. Gass. Oh, no. arguably. Okay, but I think. Ar hey, arguably. But let's let Adam finish. He's back now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, arguably, it's uh, the the guitarist from Tenacious D, but <laughs> or from... maybe the largest movie star in the history of movies. Yeah, right. No, yeah. I mean, I didn't. I think that's that's the issue, and that's why this visitor center is so goddamn important, mm -hmm. and they need to have a wing of Tom mm -hmm. Hanks. And, a, and and you guys, your names but, will be printed on a flyer. You know what, though? Here's here's another right. issue while you're bringing up issues, okay? okay. The thing yeah. is, okay. is like, now you're bringing up the issue about Tom Hanks. No, the issue is, is that you're undercutting mm. your boy, Blake, getting his wing at the Concord. Okay. Dot go to okay. center. For yeah, a Tom you know, Hanks. <laughs> for a Tom Hanks wing. When really, come on, man. Nice. Champion for your boy. Champion for your boy. Come on. Blake doesn't deserve a wing yet. He hasn't, nope. he hasn't no! done enough for a wing. <laughs> what? Yet, are we are we being real or are you putting on fake eyebrows right now, Kyle? Because those look yeah. like fake ass eyebrows. Wow. What does it take to get a wing? Well, well, like I would say a, well, the uh, whole thing is like <laughs> you have to star in about fifty <laughs> movies, and right now you're you right. have forty nine to go. You were in the opening of the zombie movie. <laughs> yeah, hey, um, there. Well, Tom, it, Tom Hanks is in whole movies. You got Game Over, man, and he's got and he's got like fifty movies. I, I feel like he deserves a wing. Dope. He's got dope. <laughs> That's true. Okay. You guys deserve like a like a, a cardboard cutout or something for sure. I think. I think I'm, that's uh, probably, I mean, cool. Yeah, sure. Whatever, bro. Okay, well, here. I'm on Tom <laughs> Hanks. I'm on his Wikipedia. Yeah, what does the wiki say about Mr. Hanks? Okay, he didn't go to school in Concord, but he was- Thank you! He was born in Concord, California on July 9th. He's a Piedmont boy. And got the fuck okay. out. Okay. Well, you know where I got that he went to Concord High or, or whatever? From you oh, guys, no, this is, I, yeah, I only right. got that information from from y'all. Every time they introduce themselves or like say where they're from, they're like, uh, "Tom Hanks is from then, there." No. As like a half joke. Well, and and Newichek has obviously has smoked that part of his brain away because he doesn't remember <laughs> driving past that school, pointing at it, being like, "Tom Hanks lived uh, went to school there." That wasn't me. I'm like, Tom Hanks is an Oakland dude. I was like, "What is this?" I know who's the Concord people. Uh, well, Walnut Creek guy. <laughs> Kyle Gass. Okay? okay, I'm gonna bring him up. Bring so, him but he's up not again. even Concord. Who's Concord? Some who, who's from Concord? Blake Anderson, Kyle yeah. Newichek. Yeah, I do want to say you guys had a fast swimmer come out of Concord. And guys, if that's the case, you deserve a wing. Laura Davis. Is that who it was? If that's the case, if it's just you guys and there's and there's not Tom Hanks, right. the biggest movie star in the world. Arguably, right. if he isn't if he isn't actually from there, if he was just born there and then they stole the baby to another city. They're like, mm -hmm. he has got too much talent in his veins. He cannot be raised here. And yeah. they snatched him and <laughs> took him to Oakland. And they're like, here, you shall blossom, you and MC Hammer. And yeah, uh, I'm right, assuming right, other, right. other people. Right. Together. Yeah, there's and lots the, of people from the Bay. And the wing that the wing that Adam is talking about is a lemon pepper wing hey, hello. From, <laughs> from fucking Wingstop. Hey, hello. That's what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Hey, the, and here's your wing. <laughs> the whole place ain't that big, so it's going to have to be something like that. You know, That's the Concord tight. Center is not a museum. It is a, an office. <laughs> and what's that website again? That's www.visitconcordca.com. Hey, I hey, think that's that, real that actually did. Yeah, that seemed real. That's Thank right. you for finally. Hey, 
I'm waking up. I'm waking up. You know our fans, you mm -hmm. know our fans are sitting here, they're listening, they're like, oh man, Adam was gone for a while, they were floundering. Yes. Uh, that, yeah. Well, hey, I'm going to pause out. you. I'm going to pause you right there. And then they were like, now they're giving us this fake website. It's not making a lot of sense. Natalie Coughlin, straight out of Concord. I knew it. She's a 100 flyer world record holder uh, back in the early 2000s. Oh, wow. Nice. Shout out to Natalie Coughlin. There we go. Hey, Natalie. And it's Coughlin for sure, right? Great Walls. Great Walls. Coughlin. 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 <laughs> Coughlin. Guys out there. How would you guys say that name? Coughlin or Coughlin? Guys out there who know swimming, it's Coughlin. I would say that as really? Coughlin. I would, I say, would say that as Coughlin. But it's, hey. Because it's a Coughlin. Hey, hey, guys. Rowdy Gaines yeah. pronounces it Coughlin. So, guys. Yeah, that's don't cool. Don't battle Rowdy. Well, I mean? The end it, all be all. Rowdy Gaines. <laughs> so she's got a wing for sure. Mm. All right. And hit us with that website one more time, Blake, just for the, the fans, the listeners. They, they're out there. They want to mm -hmm. visit. Because Adam was gone for a minute. He might have missed it a little bit. Yeah. So. Guys, if you're, if you're wondering, the, uh, if you want to check out the taco route we went on, the official Concord Taco Trail, go on down to www.visitconcordca.com. There you go. There you go. Adam, you, you, you missed that. me talk about um, a sound guy in a production who would just – brush against my cock twice a week. Have you ever had anybody uh, like that on a production? Did this dude God. just did this? I used to have this, uh, uh, he, wasn't a, he wasn't a sound guy. Just uh, a guy. You no, know, he was a, a grip, but he would always come up and then- He gripped something. He gripped yeah, something. Yeah, no, honestly. <laughs> and he would always be like, hey, can I get underneath you? And then start sucking my cock. Right, right. Yeah, and just pull it and out and just start. And this is honest? You're being honest? What is my, f hey, I don't know. You're looking at my face. You were like, don't you mean may you? And he, he, would, he would call it testing this is the honest? microphone. And he'd be uh, oh. kind of test the mic. Can I get under you? Yeah. He was like, I got to grip something real quick. And I'm like, I don't know. I guess, mm -hmm. hey, you're part of the union. You have to do it. And then he would just. Oh. Right. Hey, and after so. that, he was the best boy. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, and now I'm, you're the best boy. Uh, but to answer your question, uh, I don't think I've ever had anyone accidentally. No, no, no. Graze. This, is my, this is on purpose. <laughs> oh, it was a, it was a real. Well, yeah. I mean, it would happen like twice a week where you're like, that was on purpose for sure. I never had anyone that I like truly worked with, but doing those meet and greets after stand up shows, people were mm. wild. People would grab your dick. People would grab right. your ass. People like legitimately in a, a there would be like a solid 15, 20 times. And that was just Adam Ray. And that was just my opening Who would open up for you. act, Adam Ray. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, people, people are wild, man. I couldn't imagine just uh, wor working with someone, one thing. That's even crazier because you're going to see them every day. Right. Or another, just you're out and about and then someone just grabs your ass. Or you go and you see, like, a, a famous, uh, like, a, a celebrity right. that you're a fan of and then you just, like, uh, assault them. I mean, I loved it every time, I, but that's just me and my personality. Uh, other people probably wouldn't. Yeah, perks, perks of the job, right? Oh! Yeah, but those guys only got one chance. They figure to themselves they got one chance to give a little graze. You know right. what I mean? It's like they got, they're going to snap a selfie, they're going to maybe shake your hand, and they're going to maybe graze your wee-wee. Your, your, yeah, wee -wee. your you hoo-hoos. My yeah, wee crazy. The, like, the tight hug you get for like a selfie with somebody, and you're like, oh, hey, okay. Hi. Hi. Hey, we're doing this. Mm. Hello. Mm. Hi. Mm. Yeah. Is Adam yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. he's there. Take a sip. Mm. Yeah, okay. it's that morning show, that acai bowl is kicking in. Yeah, here we go. Did you have one of those? I freaking wish. I love acai bowls. They're probably mm. my favorite. Yeah, I fuck up an acai. Breakfast. And where the... Where the hell did those things come from? They weren't around when I was a kid. Now they're everywhere. I want to talk to the publicist of acai because <laughs> they're doing great work. I mm -hmm. love that Amazon fruit, let me tell you. Or berry. Is it berry? Yeah, they really, it's a berry. Uh, Are berries not fruits? Yeah, they're fruits. fruits yeah, berries are a fruit. Yeah, is a berry a fruit? A berry is a fruit. fruit. Oh, we got our podcast title. Is uh, a berry a fruit? Be sure and tune into that. A berry is a fruit. Yeah, 100%. A strawberry is a fruit. A blueberry yeah. is a fruit. What a kiwi berry is a berry of fruit. Did you know that a kiwi is a berry? <laughs> We're learning a lot. We're learning nope. a lot about each other. We don't know what fruits are. Don't know how to tell uh -huh. time. This is I remember when speak. you had your first kiwi and it was like, 
it was all furry on the outside. So you're like, all right, what is this? But then you get on that inside and it's pretty damn good, isn't it? Wait, uh-huh. dude, do you know that, do you eat the, I eat the skin on the kiwi. Well, <laughs> did you know that? Have any of you guys well, ever done that? Well, laugh. <laughs> uh, gross. Yummy. Why? Yeah, why do you eat the fur? Why do you eat the fur of the skin? You don't have- I, Because I got sick of cutting it, and then I saw this PA in, or an assistant up in Canada, up in Toronto. She was like, I just eat the whole thing. And I was like, what? Do it. And she did it. And I was like, and you're cool? And then I looked it up. Yeah, she was like, watch, I'm going to get Kyle to eat the whole thing. I just have to eat it once. Yeah, and I looked it up, and it's fine. He actually got a lot of the fiber. I'm sure it's fine, but like the outside doesn't taste good. No, it's awesome, dude. You can eat you, the rind of a watermelon. It's so dope because you snap right into it. I eat the... I eat the, uh, <laughs> the hey, I want my ribs the hair on. Thank you. No barbecue sauce. I eat the rind of a watermelon. I eat all Why? that shit. Yeah, it's Adam, delicious. It's great. Adam is It's very, not delicious. Adam, the rind of a you're you're gonna go on record saying the rind, the rind. It's, I yeah, after rind, I eat, I think it's, it's rind. rind. I, what is <laughs> okay? He said rind. However, you say rind or rind. Uh, yeah, I eat the rind I eat the rind, but it's not delicious. Yeah, it's I, for to sure me, not to good. me. I like it. I eat this sweet treat. The out. So you would eat just? Would you eat the bowl? Would you eat a bowl? Hang on. You want to know? No, I want to <laughs> ask you this question. No. Would you eat if someone had a bowl of just the rind? You'd be like, oh. I'll have that. That's delicious. Uh, I I don't know if, if it depends on if I was hungry or not, but uh, okay, all right. Well, if wait, hungry, hold on. Going. We're not saying. <laughs> let's say this. Hey, let's say this. Here's what. Here's what. You're in this scenario, Adam. You're hungry. Okay, then yeah. <laughs> I'm then pissed now. So he's eating Great. it. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, uh, no, I mean, I guess right. delicious is the wrong word. I'm sorry that threw you for a fucking loop, Durs. It's delicious, a very specific word. And you word. got spun out of control. <laughs> It's not delicious. I I I, I do Whoa, eat them. I, they, I is it purple? I like it. I what? like it when I when I eat a water uh, watermelon and I get to the end. I'm like, mm-hmm. guess what, baby? I'm not stopping. And I like the crunchiness of it. I like that you, you gotta say chew that to the watermelon. I, uh, Honestly, I like Adam, it. I love that about you. I love that you eat everything. I love it. He eats the whole apple too. I know. I think it's so fucking cool, dude. I think you're so ahead of the curve on this, bro. And I'm like, just, I'm into you. I'm just a fucking garbage disposal of a human. And yeah. uh, I don't mind it. You know, I think I started eating the the uh, core of the apple like as a child, like as a bit, like as a, I'm a wild man. And then yeah. now I can't, and also like, what do you do with it? Then you have this piece of garbage with you and you're out and about and I don't want to just like throw it somewhere. So I was like, you know what? I'll eat it. You, you throw it anywhere. It is an apple. A squirrel will come eat it because that's what apple cores are for. I throw my apple cores and I hope that a tree pops up. Like I, every time I finish an apple, I throw the core and I pretend like I'm Johnny Appleseed. Oh my God. Yeah, Adam, every time you eat it, you're not planting a tree. No, yeah. because I what I do is I always shit in my yard. <laughs> Oh, so you're putting the seeds always in the constantly. I, I'm fine. I'm always re- sprinting outside and shitting in in our yard. <laughs> well, you, hey, what are you doing over there? Oh, I'm planting a tree, asshole. I'm planting a tree, <laughs> sir. Do you have a problem with that? It's called I, hue manure. I feel like Adam admitted that eating the apple core started as a bit. To me, it kind of feels like Kyle, you eating the skin of the kiwi is also a similar thing where it's kind of become like this thing. You're proud to say you do. It's a little off right. center. You're like, mm-hmm. guys, I actually eat the furry, disgusting part of a kiwi. That's how you introduce yourself. But it's not It's not furry or disgusting. It's just the shell of it, and you just bite right into it. It's delicious. Right. No one's saying it's disgusting. It's just not, not good, preferred. and you don't have to eat it. And I've used this word before on this podcast to deaf ears, but it's purely utilitarian. Mm. Well said. It's I grab a kiwi, uh, I run it underwater, I don't need a knife. I, I don't need, need a knife. It. You don't got to cut anything. It's, yeah, it's less work. It is utilitarian as fuck. It's a kiwi. It's it's a kiwi. You can use your finger. It's not a knife. You don't need a knife for a kiwi. Yeah, you do. You can tear a kiwi apart with your bare hands. But also, uh, if you look uh, up the- Blake is strong. But then there's just juices all down the front of you. Yeah, that's that's not- That sounds hot. No, mm. you're, you're missing on some good stuff. Oh I, my the God. skin has good stuff. You do need to wash it, but the skin has good stuff. <laughs> Oh my God! The, the skin's got good stuff. The skin's got good stuff. You can't. You can't oh just, hey, Kyle. What up? I got an idea for your salad bar. One moment. I got an idea for the salad bar. Yeah. What up, baby? Like, if you're a company and you you've been throwing away the rind and the skin, just send it to Kyle's salad bar where there's a whole trough of it because there's good stuff in it. Well, I never said I would eat a bowl of the skin. 
Okay. Hey, but there's good stuff in it. <laughs> you know what, though? If you fucking dehydrated the skin of a kiwi... Come on to Carl's Good Stuff Salad Bar. If you dehydrated the skin of a kiwi, I bet it would be bomb as fuck. I, I bet that would be... Bomb as I'm fuck. I'm going to say I doubt it. Maybe if you salt it well. You know what I... <laughs> you know what I salt it? Bomb <laughs> as fuck. Salt it. You know what I dehydrated the other day that was off the charts? Some motherfucking mulberries, bro. You guys fuck know. around with a dehydrator? Anybody? Uh, you know, um, dehydrating <sighs> takes a very long time, correct? It's like an eight hour process or it's an overnight thing. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So yeah. when you're like shooting overnights, you could just watch it. <laughs> exactly. Okay. You could put okay. it in your trailer. You could be dehydrating these kiwis, these apples, anything. It's just, then it lasts forever, you know, or where here. are you getting your mulberries? My neighbors, <laughs> my neighbor okay. has a mulberry tree and they're just falling on the ground. And so are you sure you're not eating like some kind of poison berry or very positive? You say poison or poison? I said poison, but perhaps it's a poison. Who's coming up with boysenberry as if that's a good name? That's a terrible name to call something a boysenberry. Yeah, because it sounds very yeah. close to poison. <laughs> Don't eat right. that. It's a poisonberry. I know. Yeah. I love boysenberries. I know. I love boysenberries. It's a boysenberry pie. Do you think the that was the originally like the homie trying to get his neighbors not to eat his berries? He's like, dude, they're poisonberries. He's like, I've, yeah, I've been eating them, bro. Boysenberries yeah. rock. For real. Two of my favorite things, boys and berries. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> Give me a hell yeah. Adam, Ad can you hear us, Adam? I'm trying to talk. I, you, you motherfuckers won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, I just heard it. Been yeah. trying to get into this conversation for the last ten minutes. Ooh. Adam, to be fair to oh, yeah. everyone, we can't hear you at all. So I, also I, I know you, you're, but you can talk because you're recording on your thing. So go for it. But he also might be five Fucking minutes behind. Thing sucks. We just can't. I hear mean, you. I, are you current? Say you hello can't, now. Uh, yeah, hello. Can you not hear me? No, he's he's lagging. Damn, he's lagging. This fucking thing sucks. Damn, we were. Eating, my we man had a sucks, story about yeah. neighbors sucks. and berries that I'm trying to hear. <laughs> yeah, this is dude, I had a really good neighbors and berry story. I will say that minute twenty six through thirty six on this particular pod is pretty hot. You know. Well, it was a lot about fruit. You're back. I You're feel. Back. I don't know how hot it was, but it was definitely about <laughs> fruit and about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> fucking thing sucks. And it was. It was See, definitely about there. fruit. I think he's two or three minutes behind us. You think I'm two or three uh, minutes behind? Two or three minutes? No, or a minute? Moments. A minute? Moment? He's a moment behind us. He's talking to us. He just said hello about a minute later when I said say hello now. The fact that I can hear you, I'm looking at you right but now. But I also think he's told this story on the podcast oh. before. <laughs> That's possible. Well, then you tell it, motherfucker. Right? Because he's like someone was poisoning him, or he was poisoning people. Oh, he started to make jellies out of the um, <laughs> pizza, pizza. Like I'm kind of mad that this won't translate, right? I think it can, possibly. Okay. Hey, okay. Wait, we got you. Go, 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 go. Fruit. Can, can, you can hear me. Know what I mean? Yes. Now we can. Now yes. Can. Yes. Can you hear me now? I don't, how do I turn my video off, man? Just stop video? Yeah, stop video. Oh, yeah, and but now, no, that just that just takes my screen off. I know, but it, it, loses, it uses less internet. Mm. Right. Oh, uh, okay. The lag. See, so uh, now you, maybe you'll be mm. current. Hey, There's what up? stuff in it. Okay, and I, I might have told this story uh, before, but there, my neighbor had a, a berry tree, and I plucked off all the berries, and I found out if you squished it, it made like a gack situation, and I sold it to all my neighborhood kids, and everyone got really, really sick. Right, right. No deaths, though. No, someone died, dude. <laughs> no, I didn't kill them. Uh, <laughs> what? What? They all died. No, and everyone in my neighborhood died. It was a, a, a mass death. Hulu's doing a documentary on it now. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, what would happen if they did die? Would you go to pri would you go to prison if as a kid, how old were you like 10, 8, 9? Yeah, I was like eight, probably 8 or 9. Uh, if you were 8 years old and poisoned like 12 kids by just making like a drink out of berries, is that like involuntary manslaughter or what? I don't know, man. What the I heck? feel like you would definitely get for sure get spankings. I feel like I I for sure like <laughs> Yeah, you probably get a bear bottom? Uh, you'd get some bare bottom spankings from a judge, and they would in Iowa mm -hmm. they they would uh, you'd be convicted with thirty spankings for sure. Yeah, right. similar in Concord. Similar yeah, it's a similar Concord. vibe. That's why I liked Concord so you, much because I'm like, oh, I like this. I feel like you're gonna make some good friends here, some good lifelong friends here, and also you can easily buy meth anywhere. Mm -hmm. 
That's the vibe that I got from Concord that I also get <laughs> oh, no, from no, Waterloo, no. Waterloo, Iowa. Okay. All right. My man is back. Huh. <laughs> I don't know about all that. That's the vibe. That's the vibe I get. I love it. The chunking is over. He's got a hot Concord take. From where I grew up in in, in Waterloo, Iowa, is the same vibe I got from uh, Concord. I'm like, <laughs> We're not- gonna, there's some good people here. Is that true, We're Adam? We're going to make some great friends. Is that true? Do you get a similar vibe? When I was growing up, I found it hard to buy meth. I do. I get a very similar vibe from where I grew up. And, until I moved to Omaha, which Omaha is a little bit bigger of a city, so a uh, different vibe. But... Uh, where I grew up in Waterloo, very similar vibe to Concord. And even, I would say, even the suburbs of where I grew up in, in Omaha was a, a similar vibe. And, you know, a lot of, uh, like, oh, chain restaurants go. and uh, cool dive bars and right. oh. suburban kids. There yeah. We go. Right. Yep. Yeah. And readily available methamphetamines. <laughs> right. That's the part that I'm going to have to stop you on that Did you one. find a meth dealer while you <laughs> yeah. were at our childhood... Uh, hometown no dude i i just remember being in that one shitty dive bar that we're all in and i'm like oh i bet i could when you came up here for thanksgiving you were just jonesing for meth and you couldn't find it you were up here for like three or four days and we were drunk the whole time i'll <laughs> say right now i've never done meth but if you guys all want to do meth f i'll do meth, meth. with you guys <laughs> If we do it on the pod, I'll fucking do it. Yeah, but we have to do it together. It's just the fastest podcast of all time. We're just dead sprinting through. Mm-hmm. We thought we did an hour. It was 15 minutes. We're all sweating. Yeah, I think we're done. I think we're done here. We should only we should do meth and then do all of our advertisements. That would be actually, cool. Would that would probably push some rails. prod? Out. Yeah, man. Push, push, push some prod. And Does that assessment of your guys' hometown ring true besides the meth? Well, yeah. I mean, it's suburban. It definitely is. It's about forty-five minutes outside of a city. There's no real. You have to. Yeah, it's 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 out there. It's a lot of chain restaurants for sure. I mean, it felt when I went to Omaha to to corroborate Adam's story. When I went to Omaha, I did feel like similar vibes. Like mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this feels similar. Except in Omaha, everything's way more spread out. In Concord, it's it's a little bit closer. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I guess a lot of like the difference when you get mm-hmm. into places in different suburbs is like it boils down to like your your weather patterns and stuff. Like Omaha feels like their places are built for snow and stuff and like being indoors whereas like Concord still has that California vibe of like outdoor seating and all that and tacos, good Mexican food <laughs> and yeah, a lot of a right, lot right. of great places to Catch some shade, do some math, just chill. <laughs> yeah, catching shade, right. doing catch math shade, for sure. Yeah. What, yeah. Do they have like a uh, good meth labs kind of thing? If yeah, it felt like there yeah. is like, <laughs> like internet cafes, but there's just meth there too. Yeah, and it's really cool. And then I'm feeling like the city of Concord will definitely be asking me back to promote and the visitor center <laughs> as soon as they find out that I've been pushing that it's a Hub Bro, you know that. what? They were, yeah, hey, we you're not know. pushing it. I'm the one that's pushing it. No, Adam's the one who's... Here's what I'll say. Those tacos are really addictive and Adam, very delicious. Adam's you know no I mean? longer welcome at Doc Go To Concord. Hey, guys, <laughs> guess what? I was given a day you know what I mean? f- uh, in Omaha, Nebraska. There's an Adam Divine Day. That's and crazy. Uh, It was crazy, actually. Um, and uh, I'll say <laughs> that it uh, was. Omaha had a real meth problem. Sure. Like, I mean, they really do. Like, I yeah. feel. I, I mean, uh, and I think out here in Concord, it might be more. It might be more opioids out here in Concord. Oh, for you know? sure. Later on, but when we were in high school, it, it, yeah, Concord was riddled with meth. You could just tell. You could just tell by the like. How? What do you mean? You could tell? Like places were blowing up, or like people were on the streets with no teeth, or what? Yeah, some bad tea, some jittery folks. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you know. tweakers. Uh, yeah, in Omaha, it was, it was bad, man. My uh, my sister dated. Uh, maybe I shouldn't tell this story. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly, my Goodbye. sister did tons of meth for a long oh, time. Okay, no. yeah, this pod, I mean, admittedly, this pod does not feel like we're recording. It feels like we're just chatting. <laughs> yeah, well, I will say that um, <laughs> we're live. There is. I would love to explore what what exactly it means to have like an Adam Divine Day. Do you get to pick like what happens, like what the celebration is? Like no. what does that what does it mean? What does it mean? It was when I did my special at the Orpheum, which is our big theater downtown. Mm-hmm. Uh and 
it, you know, shot my Netflix special there. The uh, mayor came and gave me a uh, a day, which was really really cool. So it yeah, it tight. just means like on just, whatever means, official calendar you buy, it says this is Adam Devine Day. I guess, I mean I guess so. I don't even is know it? if they're printing. It's better. It's not on the calendar. Do no, you get a for wing sure at the visitor center? I mean, I think it's just like it's just like give fake days to to people. I don't think it matters at all, and I, they definitely don't celebrate it in any way. But uh, you know, it was really cool. It was cool for my parents. They they thought that was a really cool thing. Do you still go back on your day and let everyone know as you walk past them like it's my day? It's just me drunk at a bar going. No. It's my day. <laughs> and they're like, what? <laughs> hey man, it's my day. And they're like, oh day. yeah, you were in Modern Family or something, right? Yeah, it's my day. I have yeah, a day. Prove it. Is it in a calendar? <laughs> prove it. And then it's me going. You got any meth? And then absolutely everybody's <laughs> like, yeah, obviously. Right. A parade starts <laughs> like a like a Bjork music video. That's tight. That's tight. It's the one day a year where it's you can do your drugs out in the open. Uh, Durs, did Evanston or Chicago in general have a big meth problem? Which I feel um, like meth has died <laughs> off, but definitely in the early 2000s, it was a real gnarly situation with uh, with the methamphetamines. Mm. I don't. At least I'm in my sure. part of the Midwest, I know. Yeah, yeah this, was, this is good. This is a good question. I bet there was a meth. I bet there was a meth spike, uh, just because th there was a popularity with meth in the two uh, thousands. But I don't think there was a meth problem in Chicago. I think crack was already there uh, in Evanston. Uh, I don't. I don't know about meth in Evanston. It's just not their wave. They don't surf that. I'm still gonna send it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but you so know what? Anybody un out there from Evanston who did meth, uh, DM me. We'll talk about it on the next well, pod for shizzle. Well, we we had a meth lab across <laughs> the street from our house. You guys have been to my house. It's wow. a totally normal suburban home and like just the most regular ass suburban house. Right. And then right across the street, uh, me and I think it was – my buddy Zach, we were, uh, it, it was our senior year and we got off for a period in the middle of the day. We had like a period off during lunchtime. So we went to my house to smoke the weed and chill and we're sitting there and all of a sudden we see like DEA in like full riot gear march up my sidewalk and I'm like, oh shit, how much weed do we have on us? <laughs> wow, they're really bringing out all the, all the guns for our $15 worth of weed. And they throw a battering ram through my neighbors, who's like across the street, but I could see into their backyard, through their back door, and they came in through the front door. And I guess there's a full-on fucking meth lab that these people had in their basement. Like a full-on lab. Wow, that's, breaking that's, bad that's very Breaking Bad, yes. Yeah. You know what? It, meth must be fucking good. So maybe that's why I think, uh, maybe that's where any place that reminds me what? of where that's I grew up. Reminds me of meth. <laughs> Durs, I was wondering what what is meth? I've never done meth, but like, okay. what is it? Well, why are we asking Durs? Durs hasn't done any meth. <laughs> well, well, I'm because well, I just feel like talking to my buddy Durs. What do you? Oh, know? okay. What's yeah, up, yeah, dude? Yeah. Okay. Yo, it's it's for sure a bunch oh, of stuff fun. with yeah, other things, thank you. Uh -huh. and uh, but I, I don't know what it is. It's chemicals. <laughs> I mean, people were you're asking like, the wrong guy. They, they were mixing <laughs> baking soda with like um. Uh, like over the counter, fucking uh, Nyquil and shit. No, I know they make this shit in the bathtubs, like because you and sometimes they put carpet in meth and like Clorox. Yeah, it's like a lot of chems, and then they put like uh, even carpet in it. Because I remember somebody saying, "Is it that good carpet meth?" And like, why do you think they put carpet in it? I think and it has be sure to do slide in our DMs about the carpet. <laughs> I'm sure it has to have something to do with like what's sealing the bottom of the carpet and you put that in the bathtub and then it like dissolves. Um, You're sure? I, yeah, yeah, he's sure. He's sure I'm about sure that. it has Deserve. to do with well, the I'm bottom sure, of the carpet. I'm sure that that's like the best, uh, <laughs> that's the best I could come up with. <laughs> okay, yeah, that counts. Like it must be good though, man. If people are buying it like this and getting hooked, like oh, fuck. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Well, yeah. the thing is, is like meth, you don't want to do any drugs that you, uh, that immediately you go from being a handsome looking person or a beautiful looking person to the right. ugliest, most foul looking Right. Thing. It really does destroy And, and your it goes so quick. Yeah. Like that's why 
uh, it seems like cocaine's the best drug because in those mug shots where they take yeah, like the person, the person gets arrested every fucking right. year for 10 right. years straight. And then they're like, it's always like four years in that person looks hot as fuck. Right. Yeah. They're yeah. like their hottest mm -hmm. that they've ever been they're three or four powers. years into their uh, super addiction. And then it fully goes off the rails. Yeah. There's been a few of those like, um, what would you call like chronological mugshot type things? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I don't want to shout any of them out because most of those people have died already. Sure. Oh, um, oh but, my but, God. We were trying to date you at, at, at stage four. That's right. when the meth yeah. is really hitting. Then it starts to really. Uh, no, I feel off. like meth, no meth. I think you're a pretty ugly, like right away. Right. Oh, it's, it feels like off. you fall right off the, the edge but of the But if you were fat, you lose that fat, you get oh, trim. True. You have a moment. You for sure have true. that meth moment. But yeah, but right? that meth moment. The, the sores <laughs> the, and the face tats. Yeah, you get the sores and... Next uh, thing you know, it says Mr. Ice on your forehead, and it's like, what is this? <laughs> Mr. Ice. Right, it, that's like, the automatic a, tattoo. <laughs> it says property of Mr. Ice. <laughs> what does uh, her tattoo say? It says Mr. Ice. It says uh -oh. property of Mr. Ice, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I just do always remember any time you would drive through, like, on the way to Vegas, or maybe it was even in Concord, there'd be those posters that said, I lost me me to meth. And I was right, like, right. Mm, mm, okay. mm -hmm. One of our greatest soul, so. sentences ever. Yeah, it's whoever, the ad wizard for that was... I lost me, as opposed to, like, I lost myself. I, whatever. This, this kid that I knew in high school <laughs> that he, uh, he was, like, a star basketball player, and he was like a stud, but he was like, I'm a senior and uh, this kid's a freshman. And he was like, uh, yo, Adam, can I get a ride home from school? And I'm like, no, I don't want to, I'm not going to take you, you home from school. I got well, my you own were a freshman. He, you're a freshman. He's a freshman. Oh, and he was a freshman. Yeah. And I'm like, there. I'm like, Copy no, that. no, dude. And he's like, I, I'll smoke weed with you. And I'm like, Get in, buddy. And then right. he hops in. We're smoking weed together. I'm going to drop him off at his house. And he goes, as we're smoking weed, he goes, hey, dude, uh, have you ever smoked weed with a balming fluid in it? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Like what they pump dead bodies with. What and is that, formaldehyde? Now. It's uh, embalming fluid. It's what they fill a dead body. Embalming. 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 Embalming fluid. Yeah. fluid. And, and that's different than formaldehyde. I don't know. Question, I, I don't question know. Mark. That's a great and, question. Uh, great question. No way to tell. Slide in the DMs. <laughs> and uh, so I was like, oh, fuck no, dude. That sounds insane. He's like, uh, actually, it's pretty good, but yeah, okay. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> it's actually and then he, really as tasty. we're driving, he goes, would you mind getting me some cigarettes? Like, fuck. All right. So I pull over to the gas station. Uh, Going to go buy this kid's cigarettes. I go inside. All of a sudden, it's like, <laughs> and I'm fully fucked up on embalming fluid. <laughs> E-balming fluid, however you say it. And right, from uh, your balming. Stuff. You're right. balming. I'm fucking balming, dude. Uh, balming! Yeah, and it was like the the worst, weirdest trip that I've ever had, <laughs> and I dropped this kid. And then I had to go to work and try to sell uh, I think you skipped a beat steaks. in there. Like, you realized that you had just smoked it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then, and it wasn't until, I didn't realize in that moment, I was just like, oh, I'm, am I the highest I've ever been? Like, right. I took four hits of weed, but, you know, I'm in high school. Like, I'm not sure how things affect me in the same way that I, now right. I would probably know right away. But back then, right. I was just like, oh, this weed must be mad good. And then I go, I'm at work, and I'm like, no, something's not right. I'm fully fucked up. Like, <laughs> That's like I'm on. An, and then this what, kid ended up. What was up, work? What's work for you at this, at this I point? I was selling steaks, Omaha steaks. Okay, good. Steaks. Not like working with scissors or something? No, no scissor work. <laughs> and then, uh, but then that kid Ended up, obviously, he was a little drug drug kid. He lost him to meth. Right. Mm -hmm. And he was like a star basketball player as a freshman. He, he had a, you know, seemed like a good, uh, at least a good high school life ahead of him. Sucks. Blew it, man. Yeah, that's Sucks. a bummer, man. That's it's a sad. bummer, dude. Addiction can take him. Addiction can take you. Hey, it can take guys, you all the way down to the grave. The moral of the story is just don't do drugs unless you can fucking handle your unless shit. Unless you can handle yeah, your bro. shit. That's right. And if you can handle your yeah. shit, and there's only one uh, way to find out if yeah, you can handle just your try shit. It. Just you try it. Just try it. Yeah, you just got to get out of the hole before you can't. All right? Uh, that's what it is. Right. So try try every drug, but then just if you can't handle your shit, you, you got to get out. handle your shit. Get out of the hole before you can't climb it. I think that's why I've never done hard fucking drugs, because I'm like, I can't handle that shit. Yeah. Can't. 
That's a, that's that. a, uh, that's absolutely why I never did uh, heroin or fucking yeah. acid because I'm like I think I would break. I would go deep into the heroin world. Oh yeah, you're you're hair. You got heroin written all. Well, over I loved yeah, opioids, yeah. so I had. I loved opioids. I loved that <laughs> heroin, so I'm girl. like, right. That's what. That's all it is, man. But you're throwing a yeah. needle in your arm, and I'm like, also, I don't really dig needles. No, be, they, mm. right. Yeah, heroin to me does not seem. You could smoke black tar heroin though, right? Yeah, but yeah, see, but I just, I mean, let's I do lost, it like that then. I lost, that. That. I lost my uncle to heroin. I'm not going to do it, hey, guys. I would never ever do that unless we do it on the podcast together. Right. Right. Uh, like, no, I heard we should get a wheel, remember. like a wheel of fortune that has all the drugs listed and just spin it and do it together. I, I, feel, like there's, I feel like there's some pods <laughs> that are already doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. I, really? Yeah. Yeah. I think That's so. That's like the Joe Rogan lane. Yeah. I was at the uh, PGA tournament this past weekend and uh, I saw Phil Mickelson be Hello. the oldest player to uh, That's win tight. A- major and i don't know anything about golf but i was invited it was super cool we went ended up getting pretty drunk it was fun time but this dude comes up to me and he's like uh i'm like i I guess just because we're so open and honest about drugs and you know we had workaholics that people feel comfortable being this way to you right right his mom i meet his mom and his mom is like uh we're in this like hospitality tent it's super fancy it's Mercedes Benz, you know, and so it's all fancy. And uh, and she's just like talking to me. He comes up, and she's like, "Oh, this is my son." And you could tell that these people are very well off. And right. and he's good like, hair, good hair. And yeah. Uh, yeah. and this kid who's like probably about our age was like, "Yo, bro, I know it doesn't snow often in Charleston, but I can make it snow whenever you want." His mom is right next to me, and then he right. touches his nose like this. <laughs> And I'm says, sorry, you know what I mean? And I'm like, yeah, man, I think I know what you mean. I'm good. And he goes, no, seriously, bro. His mom's, meanwhile, standing right next to me, like patting right. my back, being like, oh, nice to meet you. And uh, <laughs> like one too much. Yeah. yeah. And then he, and then he goes, uh, well, I could get you anything, dude, anything. And I'm like, okay. And okay. he goes, well, I'd actually have a hard time getting you heroin right now, but anything besides that. And I'm like, right. no, Jesus. <laughs> Mickelson took it all. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, this guy was speaking in code until he just drops the H bomb in front of his fucking mother. I'm like, you couldn't my God. think of a, a cool word for heroin. <laughs> do you think that uh, this guy, smack, you, baby? <laughs> do you think that this guy, this guy's mom, does coke with him? I it, yeah, maybe they're. I mean, they're very. They for sure were very, very rich people, and it yeah. seems like, well, like there was no cocaine good. in my high school because no one could afford cocaine. You yeah. know what I mean? Like. There, like, there, no one in my high school did cocaine. Yeah, yeah that, neither yeah. here. We would go to the. But then I talked to other people that grew up in in like Newport Beach or yeah. Laguna Beach that had like rich families, and they were like, "Oh yeah, cocaine was all over my high school." I'm like, "Yeah, it makes right. sense." Yeah, it's like an elite. It's an elite drug. It's like you know, you have a bunch of money rules. Some rules don't really apply to you because you can buy your way out. So that right that. I ideology can translate into like, well, cocaine is only illegal because somebody else says it, but you mm-hmm. know, it's a party we drug would, in my, in, in my family. <laughs> nobody at our high school, I mean, I'm sure some people did it, but up the road, there was like the Catholic high school that was like in a, a richer suburb. And if you kicked it with those dudes, there was cocaine out for sure. And you yeah. were like, Oh, okay. It's a, uh, it's a different speed up here, bro. Everyone's yeah. talking fast. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's was, starting businesses. It was really not a thing in our high school. I feel like there was maybe a, a rumor of a guy who did it, and it was like, stay away from him. Yeah, it was like the football team. The football team? The entire football team. Well, it was a, I remember. <laughs> the football team rumors are usually like, they it, all dogged out Sarah whatever in the shower together. Bro, the football team would go to. Yeah, they all jizzed in a cookie and ate it. Right. <laughs> oh, biscuit. Dude, we've got to play soggy biscuit. But the coke, you guys had a cocaine football team? Yeah, well, that's what I remember. I mean, when Blake said that. How fast were they? Were they the fastest? Uh... Dude, we beat De La Salle that year. It wasn't until I started like. No, you didn't. Like in. Uh, like in like junior or senior year when I started going to parties with height nice, with dude. footballers where I was mm. like and it was kind of out of my league like I'm not a sports guy I'm not a, a jock or anything like that but we yeah. were you said that to them all right guys I'm not a sports guy <laughs> I'm not really a sports guy I like what you do but not a jock dude I think you're an athlete Kyle I, I've heard those baseball rumor, rumors 
You're that's ex, the word. You were an X gamer, is what you were, bro. Yeah, yeah. I was extreme sports. That's right, dude. Uh, you're so that's extreme. Right. But that's when I started noticing that there was the Tony Hawk soundtrack just plays anytime you walk into the room. Yeah, bro. And so, what was the conversation with these football dudes when you said you weren't a sports guy? Where'd it go from there? Yeah. Well, they were like, "Okay, peace, all peace." <laughs> You don't like football? I guess we don't like you then. Yeah. Peace, and I was we're like, going to Tom Hanks' house to do cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> to eat we're adrenal gonna, glands. We're going to go eat some glands and do some rails. Oh, my God. Hut, hut, hut. <laughs> go long. Hey, why don't hey, you were like, I'm not a sports dude. They go, all right, cool. Why don't you go long? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Why like real I, long, like go, like run all the way home, like forever. <laughs> yeah. Guys, update. I uh, I don't think I'm shooting the cardinal. I got so much blowback, and okay. uh, and it's it, illegal. We found yeah, out. we oh, found dude. out it's illegal. It's like fully illegal. They're like a protected bird. <laughs> By the way, that's fucked up. They shouldn't no. be. They're everywhere right. and they're nuisances. No, but no. Uh, stop. But. Uh, no, I'm talking now, Kyle. No, I have something to no, say to you. No, I'm though. talking. Fuck well, you. Wait, I, I have done. something really Wanna, good to say to you please, about the card. Please. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> so here, uh, and then I was getting all kinds of people that are like, oh, dude, that those are angels. And I don't really believe in angels necessarily, but everyone, like a ton of people are like, that is what I was going to say to you, dude. Oh, cardinals are like when angels, well, that's why you got to just let me finish so I can get my thought. And... And my dad is going through all his shit right now, so I'm like, well, on the off chance that this is real, I don't want to just be murdering possible my family who's like coming around, and also my family, they're wild, you know, they what? drink a lot of uh, gin and vodka. They might be fucking drunk birds and hitting themselves in the mirror. Yes, this is the the setup to this is that when a when a cardinal when a specifically a cardinal when a cardinal visits you, there is some lore from, I didn't research which culture or where it comes from, mm -hmm, but the mm -hmm, lore is that mm -hmm. that is uh, a deceased family member or friend coming to visit you. Look, hey, and they're, uh, hey, guess uh, what? They're, they're coming and they're shitting all over my stuff. They're cut, they, I mean, they're a shitty house guest. They need to use the bathroom. They still need to use the bathroom. Unless that comes from a Native American Indian, mm -hmm. I'm not buying that shit. I, well, don't I, think, give that's, a I think that's where it's rooted. I, I would think that that normally a lot of the animal spirits and what they mean come from Native yes. American lore. Mm. Oh, mm. Um, God. Oh my or God. a meth head. Or it was just something a meth head came up with. <laughs> yeah. Right. Bro, it's I heard a, a cardinal on Wiki. your fucking like, dead grandma coming to say what's up, dude. <laughs> well, also my grandmother's favorite bird was cardinals. <laughs> and Holy fuck. My dad was oh, like, that, could, that could be grandma. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Who said that was my, could be grandma? My dad. He was just joking. Dude, but I'm like, I don't, I, I don't know. No, So man. I'm not like, going to murder these cardinals. This is reality shrouded in jokes is what's going I'm, on right uh, now. Mm -hmm. I'm very bummed. So what's the solution? I was saying maybe I wanted you could to put them. Um, lunch bags over your mirrors. Yeah, no, like, I guess I gotta hey, gotta go buy lunch bags now. Well, you, you can know. Amazon Prime that shit. No, yeah. hey, you know uh, somebody else mad. also also said return the red truck, get a different color. I don't have a red truck anymore. I, I already got it's, a new truck. It's not the truck. It's, it's not the, the mirror. It's the birds. Well, it's actually not even the just mirror. Just kill your it's truck. Just somebody's somebody's Adam's grandma is coming to visit him, and he mm. wanted to shoot her. And she's being f f fucking horrible. Arvella, get <laughs> right. your shit together. She's testing you, dude. She's testing you, bro. She always was. <laughs> no, Arvella was pretty dope. Testing you, but, man. No, like, was she on. though? She well, was hey, she was, in the afterlife, she's proven that she wasn't. <laughs> right. Right. Oh. I think you were also just too young to remember that she was just a pile of shit. And she was, <laughs> she would always shit on things and she would peck at mirrors. She was constantly you just pecking. don't remember because you were young. I will say, uh, if it is my grandma Arvella, uh, mm -hmm. there was a cardinal that flew. She had, uh, she loved cardinals and there was a cardinal like bird, like little ceramic bird finger, that, uh, bird feeder that she had hung above her sink. And this cardinal flew directly into the mirror, thinking that it was an actual bird feeder. Uh, uh, into the window, sorry. And right. it smashed the window, fell to the ground. We put it in a box, brought it inside, and we're like, oh my God, this bird's dead. We're going to have to bury it. And I'm a little kid. All of a sudden, this bird comes alive and is flying all over her house. And immediately, my grandma went from like, we have to protect this bird. We have to bury it. Oh, this is horrible that it died. To kill it. Kill the bird. Kill that damn bird. Get a pan. Get and anything. Then, and then she took a broom and just fucking Barry Bond style slammed that thing. Just mm -hmm. baseball bat style and murdered this bird. Okay. So, so it could so. be Arvella taking that bird's soul. 
Yeah, man. Any take backs, apologies, or... <laughs> I see where you get it from now. Yeah, hey, I'm sorry I uh, I judged you, but that, sound, that last part sounded real. So I apologize. Hey, no problem. Uh, I'd like to apologize to Mr. Tom Hanks. Um, sorry for all the misinformation I'm spreading. It appears you were born in Concord, and anybody else who would like to visit Concord, go ahead to www.visitconcordca.com. Mm. Hey, mm. you know what? Somebody told me, and I still don't know how we're, we're pronouncing... Concord, beautiful city. Thank you, Adam. Uh, the, 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 the man of Tesla, how are you pronouncing his first name? Elon. Elon. Okay, so two different versions after you guys fucking jumped down my throat last. <laughs> well, you said, well, uh, Blake said what you said, and I said what I say. I've, so it's Elon. I've, I've, I've lost it the way, I like Elon the way Musk? Durr said it. I never had heard that way before, but now I say Elon. I like it much Well, I, I think I said, I was like, well, he's from South Africa. I think it's, uh, it's Hebrew. It's a Hebrew name. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm sorry I uh, jumped the gun on that one. Hebrew? Very good. Hebrew. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Good, 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 good. So, yeah, I'd like to that's, compliment that's Adam. I'd like to compliment you uh, because as much as it's a hot button thing with me killing these birds, I would really like to compliment you f in not doing it. I think that's, mm. I think mm -hmm. that's fantastic. I don't think you should be murdering animals just because mm. they're a nuisance unless they're rats. Okay. Yeah. It's not good for the podcast, but it's, it's good for the planet. Right. Absolutely. And right. thanks for so. battling through all your um, technical he's, issues. He's gone, by happy. the way. He's yeah, did he not? Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm here. I'm really soaking this in. I don't I don't get a lot of compliments on the uh, on, on the very end of the podcast, so I was really soaking that one in. That, that really made me feel good, Kyle. Mm. Yeah. I disagree with you. I do want to murder this bird, uh, absolutely, but... I don't illegal. want to... Um, well, no, uh, but I said this. I clarified this last year. It's okay. You know, and on the off chance that some of that, uh, you know, hocus pocus soul type yeah, stuff man. is is real. Hey, I'm you know, totally. what, am, what, am I, what am I doing? You and know? if you want to, if you have other animals that you would like to murder, like, it's okay to talk about it. That's okay. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't take action. I'm happy for you to air it out. Yeah, I, I really only want to murder the animals that are shitting and pissing and uh, pecking my mirrors out. Yeah, right. Yeah, complain. Yeah. Just don't pull the trigger. All right. Mm. What are you gonna do with the BB gun or the pellet gun you got? Uh, just fuck around in the backyard and stuff, and maybe accidentally accidentally shoot something. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll shoot. I'll shoot some. I'll shoot some cans uh, for a while, and then give it to a child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good call. And yeah. say, hey, this is a telescope to see you pull this button. Oof. Well, when I was a kid, I mean, it, <laughs> South Carolina feels like the type of place that little kids have BB guns. And when I was a kid, I had a tons of BB guns, dude. So well, I was, I was a BB air, gun boy. So uh, we could play uh, airsoft, you know, when you get back, we could play airsoft in California. That'd be dope. I'm done. Up in Concord? And what, not do the meth up there? Come on. <laughs> You'll be busy. No, that's half the fun. Well, that's half the fun. You got to do the meth and then you're real good at airsoft. For sure. Yeah, Your teeth are just be. falling out as you're diving behind uh, obstacles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I would like to take back from uh, and apologize to Blake and and Kyle and uh, about saying that Concord has meth. They for sure do. For sure, it was a problem oh. without a doubt. You um, didn't just say that Concord has. Wait, meth, did you? Ta you're taking it back? No, I know. I'm, I'm apologizing to them because I didn't. I didn't hear when I was gone. I think you Anything. explained that you were part of some sort of. You're part of the uh, Concord.com Welcome Center thing that what? you somehow went. You did a thing. You'll not. Ne you'll never know. Yes. But then, yes. Is that right? Promoting. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, so I just thought you found out that there is a Welcome Center, mm -hmm. and you're like, hey, let's shout them out. In which case, yeah, you know, let's shout them out. But also, let's talk about the horrific meth problem. I didn't mm -hmm. know that you were. A <laughs> are you taking that back, or are you just spreading it? It sounds like you're gaslighting. I think you're gaslighting Concord. No, hang on. I wouldn't have done that <laughs> if I would have known that you were part of it. So I apologize right. to you for doing that, and I wouldn't have done that if I would have known. And you I finally just, put that together. You would have swept it under the rug. I don't mean to just drag this one out, but like you, do know, you do know that now, and you just said it again. Because I do believe that in my heart, uh, but I would like to apologize for going <laughs> as uh, as deep in... As I, as I did. Mm. Is this an epic slam? 
This is this is wild. It does feel like an epic slam shrouded uh, in an apology. Hey, hey Are you guys. shrouding? Hey guys, there's no shrouding, dude. Do not shroud. Hey guys, I like Concord a lot. It reminds me of where I grew up, and I really like it a lot. I'm just saying, yeah, Concord it's rocks. As if, as in any other town in America, they have a meth problem, without a doubt. No, not Evanston. Evanston for sure does. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I do believe it is a large uh, city for recovery. Evanston has more of a coke problem. You could you could tell. Yeah, no coke. There's oh, really? addiction. There's, guys, there's addiction there. problems everywhere on a lot the planet. Of weed. All right, this speaks to a bigger humanitarian issue. And that's really thank you, Kyle. That's exactly what I was trying to say. And that's exactly what I was trying to say. This speaks to a bigger human issue that we all think that we need to go to our little friends, the drugs, rather than mm. hanging out with our real friends, the homies and friends. Oh, okay. well said. oh my God. Little Thank friends you. and real well friends. Said. Friendship. There's the podcast. That's Hit us with that button, Blake. Friendship. <laughs> there we go. Friendship. 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 Right, and is that guys. for Mortal Kombat? It is, sir. Yeah. So again, I'd also like to compliment us from minute twenty six to thirty six. I feel like those were the hottest parts of this particular. Are you podcast. taking tabs? What do we? How do you? Why? Just because that's where my internet was working, and we were talking that about was fruit. Where we were really, we weren't floundering. The rest of the podcast, I felt like we were floundering, and I apologize. But yeah. uh, huh. twenty six mm. to thirty six, hot ten minutes. Just. Uh, Maybe we put that on loop for this one. Yeah, who know. knows? Maybe it's just a ten minute podcast. This I mean, because we usually talk for about five hours and then we trim it down to an hour. Yeah, that's true. We usually won't shut up. We should. We'll sift through it. Be quiet. All right, guys. <laughs> 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 that was right. another episode of. And that's it. This, this, this is this is important. Is important. Tant.